guys welcome back to my channel this is christian from christian's crafty adventures and thank you for being here coming back for a dia day disney edition a dia day series so this time today we're going to be playing with this cotton candy die from ks crafts and these are the parts and i've taken the liberty of cutting the pieces i've also attached the acetate you know when you make an acetate sheet you want a base or an acetate if you want it to be transparent you want your foam you want your acetate and you want your decorative portion so let's start i am using my barely art glue i love 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 my barely arts if you want a discount if you want a 10% discount on your purchase, it has it's the best tip in town. It's like a syringe. You know, uh, I work in the hospital, and this is the diameter of the needles that we use. And this is the exact system of the needles that we're using. Um, anyways, so yes, best tip in town, especially for shakers. I love, love, love making shakers. I used to be so intimidated by them. And then after I learn how to do them, I'm like, oh my gosh, shakers are so, so fun. So I would love, love, love to encourage you to try them. They're so much fun. And yeah, I love creating shakers because they give so much. They give so much to the project. Um, I also have a mix right here. So, try not to shake it first until it's dry. I'm very, very bad at that. I just shake it immediately. That's who I am. <laughs> That's why some of my projects have like snags. Um, and then we're going to put this right here. I think I've overfilled it, but that's okay. Super quick, super easy. Um, you know, the reason why I'm doing this dye a day series is because sometimes when we buy dyes, we buy them like multiple different ones, right? And then it arrives and then you realize like you're not using them. Like you have so many dyes in your stash and you haven't used them yet. Um, this series hopefully encourages you to play with one, one dye a day. Just focus on like just one die hopefully it will bring back your mojo it's going to be less overwhelming because i believe that if you're less if you're not overwhelmed you're going to be more creative um i feel the same way if if i am overwhelmed i'm definitely definitely not creating i mean i wouldn't be that creative if i'm overwhelmed i want to put some mickey ears right here just for more Disneyfication. Right there. I think that's extra fun. If you want a clear shaker, I made a sample. And this one, I made a clear shaker one. This one right there. So if you want a clear shaker, instead of the blue, you're going to cut two acetate sheets. So cute. And this one is inspired by DM. She loves, loves, loves doing that. Um, I'm not sure if I want to. I don't think I want to put a face. So cancel the face. Cancel the face. Uh, uh, let's put let's put something else with it. I think it would be cute to add like a certain element to it instead of a face because we already already made a face on here. You see, so I did put a face on this already, so I think it's gonna be redundant. Um, the face is also part of the part of the die set. Let's see if this one will work. I'm not sure if the size is too big or whatnot. Yes, it is too big. Okay, let's see. I'm I'm just being very impromptu. Just I don't know. I don't I don't want to do too. Oh, I have to shake it. 
Um, you know what? Maybe some glasses. We'll see if that works. This is so funny. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm using the Fun at the Park collection from Doodlebug. So technically, we did do the face. It's just we're using the glasses from the icon stickers from the collection. I think that's still cute. Just to give it a different... Should I make it like a bigger? No. I think this is cute. I think that's cute. I think that's super, super cute. Yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it. And then maybe like a small sentiment. If I can find one. Um, let's see what we have in the chit chat that I have left. Hopefully. Summer vacation. That will be cute to put in there. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Let's do it. And you guys, just in case you're wondering, the size of the ears for the punch is one and a quarter. Just in case you want to try to replicate that if you have um, this cotton candy dye. It is one and one fourth. So I like doing these dye a dye a day series because, you know, just one dye. And you're not, you're not. You're not focusing on anything else other than this one die that you're playing with. Um, it's not overwhelming. It's actually really, really fun. So I hope you can join me. But this is our die. It's a cotton candy die that we were able to Disneyfy. Okay, now I'm not sure if I made the right choice with the glasses. I'm second guessing myself. Okay, so now I'm removing the glasses. Oh, I end up removing the entire thing. Okay, okay, I am going to scrap that, friend, and I've changed my mind. I'm going to put the face, because I don't want it to look weird. I think the, the glasses are small, so it's okay to change your mind. It's not a problem. It's your project. You can do whatever you like with your project. It's yours to play with. I think that's so much better okay so we're good we're happy with this so so cute maybe like a bow or something in the corner would be cuter i don't have the bow prepped but anywho this is our quick super super easy cotton candy dye you can create um like halloween cotton candy if you wanted to i mean the sky is the limit when it comes to this dye so easy to cut and it comes with the shaker portion and the acetate portion, which is the base, which I absolutely like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. That is our super, super quick dye a day, the cotton candy one from Chaos Crafts. I'm going to put a link in the description for you if you want to check out this dye for yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye, guys.